Two years ago, the provincial health department condemned 21 houses here at Medang's Beyond Prison. The decision then resulted in a chain of events. A group of CS officers took their employer, the correctional service, to court on grounds that the government, through the correctional service, had abused their human rights. The court then ruled in their favor, ordering the correctional service to pump in funding for urgent renovations, which were to happen over a two-year period. All those houses are condemned by health department or condemn them all. This is what standard government housing for some prison officers looks like. This bush material building is still home to an officer and his family awaiting the construction of new buildings. It's almost, uh, say, 30 to 20 years without a maintenance institution amid. So, you got all. Still, currently, we have uh, two officers living in a bush material house, five officers living in semi permanent uh, housing. At another part of the prison compound, Corporal Jack Ningi shows me his house. It's a typical village house built on government institutional land to house a government employee tasked with the job of making sure prisoners don't break out. I've been in, uh, since, ever since me transfer in here from Mendy in 2004. Uh, me comes up, me build in the bush metal house, me stop. Uh, now almost 11 years something, me stop here, 12 years, me stop here. In November this year, the prison commander will be tasked by the court as per the court order two years ago to report on the progress of the renovations. But with the infighting at headquarters, the flow of funds have slowed to a trickle. There is now uncertainty over when the next lot of funding will come to finish the ongoing projects like these kit homes being erected. Scott Wyde, National MTV News, Medang.